This is the second video to explain how the circular flow of income can be made a little bit more sophisticated. In the last video, I talked about how households provide the four factors of production to firms. The firms use the four factors of production to make output. The households receive income when they provide the factors of production to the firms. And then they use this income to buy all of the output from the firms. So their expenditure is equal to their income, which is also equal to their output. In this diagram, like the song, three is the magic number. There are three things here. Income equals output equals expenditure. And there are two other lots of three that we can add in to make it a bit more sophisticated. The money's flowing round. But also, more money can be added in. And there are three ways in which money can be added in. And these are called injections. They're being injected into the economy. And there are three of those. And the three injections that you can have are the government could spend money. And when they spend money in the economy, money comes in. Government spending is an injection. Another way that we can have an injection is that firms can invest. And remember, in economics, investment is spending on capital. So if firms spend money on capital, machinery, that will be counted as an injection. Money is flowing into the circular flow. The third type of injection is if your economy exports something. This is the opposite way around to what you think it might be. If you export something to another country, they give you money for that export and money comes into the circular flow. So all three injections will add to the amount of money that's flowing round in the economy. Now there's going to be more money flowing round and round in the economy. There's also the factor of withdrawals, or sometimes called leakages. These are ways that money can leave the circular flow of income. So actually the money within the circular flow can decrease. So these we'll call withdrawals, but also they can be called leakages. So the withdrawals or leakages, again, three is the magic number, there are three of these. One way that money can be withdrawn is via tax. If the government apply taxes to goods and services, perhaps an indirect tax or maybe direct taxes, such as income tax or corporation tax, money leaves this circular flow because people or businesses are paying tax and less money will now be going round because the government have taken it out in tax. The second type of withdrawal is where people are saving their money. If you save your money just in a piggy bank at home or if you put it in the bank or do something else with it to save your money, the money is no longer flowing round in the circular flow of income, the money that you've saved. So that is another withdrawal. And the third type of withdrawal is, again, slightly counterintuitive, but imports. If our economy imports something from another country, then we give them money for that product. And therefore, money leaves our economy. So less money is flowing around the circular flow of income. So the main things to remember from this video are that we have three injections that can occur and we have three withdrawals that can occur.